Welcome to the Miniature Lettuce Farm. We are a hydroponic farm located in Fayetteville, North Carolina. We specialize in miniature varieties of lettuce and herb. Okay, I promised y'all that I would show you how I mix up my master blend solution. So, um, I use, this is the calcium nitrate. This is the calcium nitrate 15.5-0-0. Um, this is the master blend solution and I use the 41838. And this is Epsom salt. And the measurements that I'm gonna give you are in grams. I have my scale and I just got this scale just from Amazon. Um, you go ahead and put your cup on it so you can zero out. I have my water already set up. I've already got that full five gallons of water. So... These measurements again are going to be per per five gallon of water okay so my scale is zeroed out I'm gonna do 10 10 and then the Epsom salt is five so it's 10 grams and I put it all in here separately all in the water separately so it's 10, 10 grams of, uh, I got a little bit over 10 grams, so. A little bit more. Okay, so that's 10 grams of my calcium nitrate. And I'm gonna bring you over to the side so you can see what I'm doing. So that's 10 grams of the calcium nitrate. You pour that in there and I go ahead and stir it up. Then I come back over to where I measure. And I need 10 grams of the master blend which is the 41838. So I need 10 grams of that. Okay, okay. So we're at 10 grams. So 
I'll move you over so you can see. That's the master blend. And remember, this is five gallons. And I'll mix that up a little bit. And then, okay, and I know this is five gallons, just so I know it's five gallons because I used this, and this is a one gallon thing, and um, I put five of those in there, so I measured to make sure it's five gallons. And then this is the Epsom salt that goes along with the Master Blend Solutions just I think it's just regular Epsom salt but I bought this I actually bought it this time I don't think I'll buy this again I think I'm gonna do some research and see if I could just get some Epsom salt it might be cheaper but for this per five gallons of water you're only gonna use five grams of this got too much Epsom salt, so I've got to pour some of that back in there. Five grams okay so we've got five grams of Epsom salt and I just close that back up and then we're gonna pour that in there Do a little stirring. Get that all stirred up and mixed up. Okay, now after we do that, Once we pour all of the water in there, and again, that was five gallons, we are going to Stir everything up. Get it all stirred up because I didn't do a tank change this time. I just added some nutrients. Next time, I will do a full tank change. And this tub pulls about 25 26 gallons it says 27 but because of the way my husband has the holes and stuff in it it only holds about 26 gallons so um we've got that stirred up really good and i don't know if you can see but the i'll do another picture the there is no algae in here matter of fact that way you can kind of see 
the water the water is clear um, because I only put five gallons in here so the water is clear I don't have an algae problem um, in this and now we're just gonna check the pH <clears throat> And I'll do this a couple of times because we stirred, but you also want it to kind of work its way through. So it's at zero, and this is just some. This is just a pH meter that I got off of um, Amazon, and we put it in there. And right now it says six point four six. And that is actually good. Um, I will uh, keep monitoring it a couple of times throughout the day to see if we need to do anything to be to either bring the pH up or take it down. Um, I want the pH to be again, see the water. The water is clear, no algae. I want the pH to be um, between 6.4 and 6.7 for this because I'm mainly growing lettuce in here. So um, the uh, one that I'm watching, I want the the by what I'm going by, I want the pH to be about 6.4 to 6.7. So I'll check that a couple times, give my system a couple times to cycle through, and I will come back and check that and let you all know if I had to do any um, bringing the pH up or taking the pH down. I actually didn't have to do anything else with the system. But I just wanted to show you some of the things that I'm growing.